My name's Jamie Bob. I'm 40 years old and I've been a graphic designer and all-round creative, I'd say. A generalist is probably my best title um, for about 25 years. Um, I started in illustration, um, did my degree in illustration, moved into graphic design when I left university and needed a job. And then from graphic design, I've, I've progressed into photography and now I sort of cover all, all three disciplines um, professionally. Key transferable skills are important. Um, I think perseverance is quite quite high on that list for me. Um, whatever you know, whatever area of the, in in the creative field you're coming from, not everybody's going to like your work. You you are going to take knockbacks. Um, you're not going to play. You're not going to gel with everybody that you work with. Um, part of overcoming that is uh, two other skills uh, that I think are really important. Are being polite and being patient, they sound really simple in general, but I've never, I've never done a project where somebody shouting or being angry has, has solved issues um, or, or brought a, a project to a, to a satisfactory end, basically. So uh, there's, I suppose, diplomacy in there as well. If, uh, if things are going a little awry or not to plan, there's a way of asserting yourself without losing your rag, basically. Things have changed a lot in the last 20, 20 years, certainly. Uh, networking channels, uh, when I started, were probably going to the pub where all the other creatives went. And I think that from before my time, that was how it worked a lot. Um, obviously, with all the social um, networking that's, that's available and, and free, that's probably as important now. Um, one thing, I use, I use some of it personally, um, not all of it, because there aren't enough hours in, in the day and you can find yourself getting bogged down in that sort of thing. I think it's important to have um, a professional presence in all, all the social uh, networking um, things available, basically. Um, if, um, I didn't use Twitter for a long time, but I had a Twitter account with my name. If you have a name, if you have a professional company name or you're working as a sole trader, you need to basically bag your name, even if you're not going to use it, to make sure somebody else doesn't. Um, same with domain names, uh, that, that kind of thing. To me, when you're starting out, the, the best way of gaining work experience is to make your own projects is to actually create work for yourself because you need, you need a portfolio. Sometimes, other than what you've created at university, you need to put yourself in real life situations, create projects. This is the only time I'd ever say you work for, for free. Um, you, you make your own projects and your own work. That's a good way of getting noticed. Something I, something I did a long time ago when I first started doing graphic design was um, in the town where I live in Doncaster, if, if there was a, um, a bar or a restaurant or a new business opening up, I'd simply knock on the door. I'd knock on the door and introduce myself, say, I, I, can, I, I can design your flyers, I can design your menus, I do some portraits of your staff, I could probably get your website started and put yourself out there, um, follow it up by going for a drink there or a meal when it opens, and that's got me lots of work and it's been the basis of a lot of working relationships going back 15 years now. What made a big difference to my career um, was getting a business head on my shoulders basically and realising that it's not a hobby. Um, it is something that I'm passionate about and something that I'd probably do if I had a completely different job. Um, but, but realising that it is a career and it is important to know something about business has kind of changed it for me, basically. It didn't destroy my creativity. Um, it probably enhanced it um, and led to more opportunities to develop my skills, basically. First thing that springs to mind is, is I'd be uh, a little more confident, um, I suppose, um, in my ability. Um, but then, you know, that was my personality, I suppose. I was, I was a bit shy when I was younger, so probably not got the confidence I have now to sort of walk into a place and, 
Um, I'd do things like this even, I probably wouldn't have done back then. Uh, one thing um, I'd, I'd change is I wouldn't believe the people who tell you that if you do this one job for free, it'll lead to so much exposure, you'll have too much more work than you can handle. In my experience, it's never, ever been the case, and I think I did that maybe for two or three years when I first started, with this, this vain hope of this avalanche of work appearing because I'd done a flyer for somebody or taken a photograph that was going in a magazine. Never really happens. Don't believe it. Don't do it. Pick your projects. If you're going to do something for free, make sure you do it on your terms. Make sure it's your project, you know. If you're still at university and you're lucky enough to still be at university and enjoying yourself, having a great time, learning lots, um, what I'd do is make as many friends as you can, stay in touch with them because they'll be your, they're the start of your network basically. Look at everybody's work, um, critique each other, argue with each other, go for a drink with each other, make sure you build the basis of your, your professional network now while you've got all these other creatives around you. I'm sure a lot of people leave university, move back to their hometown, and they never see half of these people again. And they're, they're valuable contacts. You must view them as that. They're your mate, you know, they might be your mates as well. But um, take advantage of that and, uh, and do it.